Well, here we are. They still haven't fixed the street properly here in Mineola, this spot. We did this like a couple of months ago, right? Look at this deep groove in this. I mean, this is disgraceful. Um, so that, yeah, that's not good for your car at all. Street here. I mean, this is just disgraceful. Look at this. I mean, look at this. I mean, somebody could trip over that and really hurt themselves. Look, I mean, it's just more proof. They don't care about Mineola. You know, when they do these jobs on the South Shore, they do it nice and clean, not here. I mean, it's just so obvious what's going on. It really is. This is disgraceful. Unbelievable. It's the way they treat this town, man. If you get a truck coming through, it'll be really loud. Oh, yeah, you hear that? I mean, that's not good for your car at all. But they don't care in Mineola. They don't care. They only care about the people on the South Shore. Trust me, they don't leave it like this on the South Shore. You hear? It's okay. They don't care about us. I think I'm going slow. This is just unbelievable. Yeah, like that's just... People trying to avoid it. That, if you hit it just right, it could give you a flat, I'm telling you. They don't even have a sign there that says, like, bump or anything. You know, tell people to slow down. They don't even know. But this is the way we're treated here in Mineola. It's just another example of what, how we're treated here in the Mid-Island. It's unbelievable. It's worse on this side than that side, if you're going southbound. I could actually feel the ground shake. Hear that one. And this can't be good for your car. You know? That can't be good for your car. Get a bike over that. I mean, that's. Jeez. Look at that. I mean, this is disgraceful. It's been like this for months. Or are they just going to leave it like this? You know, it just goes to show you everything I've been saying. We don't matter. This town is worthless. In the eyes of political power, we have none here in Mineola. We are worthless. See, this is where they were doing work in Belmore, and you can see it looked nice and smooth. I mean, it's so obvious, man. Look at see, look at the nice job they did here. We can't get that in Mineola. It's so obvious what's going on. And again, another look at Belmore. You can see again they did it nice and smooth here. So there's nothing like Mineola. See, they put plenty of pavement in. Let's see, look, nice and smooth. I mean, it's just so freaking obvious what's going on here. It's so obvious that the areas in the South Shore just get treated better. I mean, look at this. It's nice and smooth. It's not uneven at all. Look at that. It's just so obvious what's going on. Smooth. It's very... It don't look great, but I mean, it's, it's even. It's not like a big groove in the pavement like in Mineola. You know, but all well, because of the kind of people that live here, you know. Just taking care of it. It's an important area. Whereas Mineola, let me tell you something, Mineola has no value, no political value at all. This area, well, there's a lot of political value here. So these people are going to get treated properly. Whereas Mineola, Mineola is a completely worthless town. All right, Belmore is worth like a million times more than Mineola is. That nice, smooth pavement, of course... Restaurants are packed because yeah, it's Mother's Day. 
you are free Mineola, everything would be... Well, this is why everything... Mineola is just worthless. You got to be down here on the South Shore if you want to live somewhere that matters. This video is just more proof of it. Another example, nice and smooth. Look at that nice, smooth patch. Granted, they went over the line a little bit, but I mean... I mean, see, nobody's going to damage their car on this. Nobody's going to trip over this. But in Mineola, we're worthless. We don't get that kind of treatment. See, nice and smooth. You even have brick course walks. We don't have that either in Mineola. We have it in some areas, but they're falling apart. Because here things are done right. Whereas by me, well, again, there's a Porsche. You know who lives here. These are the important people. you got to be with them if you want to. There's a Mercedes over there. These are the important people. you got to be with them. If you're not with them, you might as well not live on Long Island. That's what I'm saying. Mercedes, BMW, these are the people you got to live with. Oh, it's packed here. They're living it up. They're living it up. They went big, and it's Mother's Day, too. So, again, it's just all part of the, the plan that's going on. This is an important area. People that live here have a lot of political power. Whereas Mineola has no political value at all. Mineola is completely worthless. Oh, it's like an undercover cop right there. Again, what, what also don't you see here? You don't see homeless people. You haven't seen any vagabonds strolling around, swagger walking around or anything like that. No, you're not going to. It's taken care of over here. Oh, it's just so obvious what's going on. It's all part of the plan. But only certain demographics are allowed to live here, so you got to be miserable in a town that's forgotten and worthless like Mineola, or you can shut up and go live in New Jersey. That's how the plan works. Here you go. Unbelievable. It's just, what is going on on Long Island is just so unfair. Why can't everybody be treated the same? Why can't everybody be taken care of? It just, it just pisses me off to no end. So, there's another video showing you the dichotomy here on Long Island. Who gets taken care of and who is just completely forgotten. And I'm not bashing Mineola. I'm not the one who thinks it should be worthless. I'm showing you that it's being treated like it's worthless. I don't agree with it, but that's the facts. Mineola is a worthless town. If it disappeared tomorrow, I don't think anyone would shed a tear. It's, it's the sad truth. That's all. Thanks for watching.